Hey, what's going on everyone? This is your Shirley back with another video and today we're gonna be doing some Twin Blast ADC and there's a build that I've been meaning to show off for a while and I finally got around to it and that is Penetration um, Twin Blast with the Infernum changes because Infernum used to not have that physical penetration on it so let me actually just show you right here before Infernum never have the physical penetration but it's still like an, an item that some assassins will actually build from time to time but it's just sometimes awkward because you're lacking that physical penetration but however ever since I got that now this item is a lot more viable on assassins and for Trim Blast who always have like really great alternative build style of just going mind racer into penetration items this is actually a lot more popular item i would say on trim blast at the moment so we're gonna definitely take it for a spin and see how we can bring this out right here gonna be a little awkward because i also need to consider building some painted like items like maybe a tainted rounds or a tainted blade because they have a lot of healing with the phase um the mortgage callus one so at the same time though like my plan my other teammates should also be um building those items out i would say I'm trying to keep an eye on that Victor's gonna go for the hook, but she didn't quite land it right there. But he definitely made them scared right there. That's a big, big thing right there. So I may, may not actually go the whole tainted kind of item just because I feel like my teammates, especially the Victor, should go that for me. And plus, it's kind of awkward to build like a tainted item when my most of my damage is kind of chunky and with my penetration stats. If I was going like an on head trim blast, then maybe I would offer to go for like a tainted bounce early on, but I'm not doing like a sky for the um, style kind of build. So we're gonna opt to just like see what our what our teammates build and then we can decide if we need to like build them out or not. Purple right lane. Wait, he's taking the reset already? That's actually so odd that he took the reset already right there. Cause that means I have to step way back because I went my arm B because I saw that we were doing really really good and so I didn't feel like I needed to go my mobility E second but my Richter just doing a very early reset and that means I actually can't step up at all which really sucks because if I step up I would die because my Richter is just not here he is mid, he's trying to seem like he's going for an early sheet game-ish and it looks like it is working out so you know what I won't complain about that it kind of looked a little sus what he was doing right there but he had the foresight to do that early early rotation as you guys saw so I won't complain too much about that right there it's very good on freezing the wave right there I actually really like that because a lot of good supports will like freeze the wave in front of the tower to make it easier for that ADC to actually last hit right there. So I really appreciate it right there. Okay, I like the aggression right there. I'm not opting to go too hard until I I can see like a, a confirmed like hook on them, right? Because Victor doesn't really um, engage in these trading paths until he gets like the really nice hook. So me trying to force the trade can be pretty hard because of um, the wave disadvantage we're at right now. So we're able to get the um, kill onto the um, spell, that's really good, but my Witcher would die for that. I'm actually gonna opt to play a little bit behind. I don't have blink, I don't have mana, but I am kind of greedy for my wave at the same time still. So I'll make sure I ward that up and just be on the lookout for the clutch potential gank right here. So this is a big wave that I really want to make sure it doesn't shove in in a timely manner. And yeah, I'm not gonna even go for gold buff. I think it's just wasting my time a little bit too much trying to go for it right now when I need to back ASAP um, for my, um, um, what do you call my soul chalice component right here. So our first iron right here, a lot of you know, trim lots ADCs will actually go for like the, what you call it, pain reaper first finish because that mobility is so, so good. Plus you get the bonus stats. I'm pretty early on, but I really want to try the front of them change it sooner rather than later. So I'm actually gonna opt to go straight into front of my right heal, pain reaper, then we finish up mind waster as a kind of three core item. 
we see the face on the right side and the crunch so I'm actually feeling pretty good about just stepping up right here and trying to see if we can get the shove in so we can get this wave kind of reset-ish because even if we get um, built right here we have to wave right here that wave is going to do a lot of damage yeah, they just kind of know that because that minion wave will actually um, do some great damage and just the fact that if Bear focus too hard on me, she's going to lose some of that precious CES right there. So I'm going to try and wait and see if we can get this wave to bounce back towards us. So I'm going to just push it right now. It's all getting stuck right here. So I'm going to opt to shove it in and let this wave reset to the best spot. And that was a good attempt right there by the Victor. Yeah, we can definitely go for gold buff. Good call by the Victor. Um, I think we can bust this down fast enough. Nice, we have the last um, hit that with our arm B. Love to see it. And this is the gold button right here because phase no blink means that we get a kill right there. Look at right here though, so we got oh I dodged into a wall. Oh dang, she even like got the um blast comb right there. I'm gonna still slowly back off because I don't think we can go much me more uh, onto that right there. Himself. But it's very good that we got a kill. I'm getting some kills right now. That's super, super big because I can stop the snowball faster and faster now at this point. Seems like it's the countless offlane getting the kills. Like, Duel Link got some kills here and there as well, but. Hmm, let me see. I think it's just the counter so far we have to worry about, but she's offlane, so we don't have to deal with her for the time being. And that's why we're going like, um, Marshman Quest right here, because against like this very bursty team call with counts especially, we need like that cleanse, but also need that shield so we can we, uh, mitigate that damage for ourselves. Looks like the Argus is getting collapsed on. Uh, looks like the spell is actually working too. Okay, seems like we're not gonna do it anymore on that very nice hug, but the phase immediately yoinky back to um, spell means that we just cannot take advantage of that. That's why it's better to actually go for the phase most of the time because you because the phase can't pull itself to safety, only the ADC or whoever she's attached to. I want to look at mids. Like I see the mock is really low. I have a good kit. I'm still killing kills, so I almost want to like look at the Morgus if she was still around, but um, seems like we're gonna go back to rifle now then. Cause I, I'm pretty strong, I want to stand my lead if I can, but if we're not getting the immediate um, like um, group together for the sub, then we might as well just keep farming and wait. Make sure we get our power spike as early as we can as well. Punch still is on this right side, but to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'm gonna have to blink right there. I wish you cannot dash away from that point right there. Wow. They went for the really ballsy dive right there and actually got away with it. But they used all that resources just to um, go right there, so... Very interesting stuff right there. Uh, I mean, I don't have my Q to get the um, phrase right there. I'm really trying to see if we can get something out of this because they're all getting low. And I see the mode gets sort of coming over, so I think I may or may not need to back off. Okay, I'm just going to back off now at this point. If I had my Q, I think that phrase would definitely die right there. But I was just off cooldown and I was not quite healthy enough to keep going onto that. Maybe I could play a little bit that better because I did use my ultimate because I was trying to get the double dash um, because your ultimate hits reduce your E cooldown but I just got knocked up really fast so I'm not able to get much out of that.
in like the Witcher is very unhappy, but I still think we're actually in a very good spot. Like all it takes is just one really good rotation, and then we can really excel like at least even more so right here. Because like especially with this kind of um build I'm doing, I'm very like a scaling kind of pick. I'm already starting to hurt quite a lot, but once we get to like three, four items, we are gonna really skywalker our damage right here. And do looks do is still missing, but uh, that means that that fail is just missing all that CS um, for the most part. Okay, we we have to go on the spell right here. Like if faith is mid, we have to just kill that spell. Like we just have to kill it. Like I want to force this right now. Like this is so illegal. What's happening right here? Nice. That is some really nice kills that we got right there. And that's what I mean. It's like you see the fade not with the spell, you instantly just press the go button right there. Like instantly, instantly to go for it. Like, it's just like I'm my with that Victor, like I think should have punished that spell way sooner, but he was too busy being the keyboard warrior he is right now. And almost like was just like total throw right there because we should definitely win on that way faster with that way too right there. But hey, we got the double kill right there. He definitely did his job as a good support he is, at least in the gameplay aspect and not in the typing aspects. But yeah, looking really good. 4-0. I got my um in front of online just a little bit off of my quest online and that's where I can go for Liberator because if that crunch is looking for a knockup, I can cleanse that preemptively. Dark and not get knocked up and I can keep on wailing on top of that crunch. Like this is a comp that has a lot, some of that CC, a lot of burst damage that I can mitigate totally if I just go use my lift weight correctly. Like I really do not like um, Death Soccer. Oh not Death Soccer, but like whatever Witch Soccer item um, that's on, on Assassins because I feel like that's just a very inferior like um, plans in comparison for ADC purposes. Can go for a hood. Not gonna land, but we are gonna do some um, nice chunky damage right there because we still got the kill. And that's where we start to really lay in the serious hood right here by just trying to go for the skills and trying to like chunk down spells slowly but surely and then pressing the go button when we get the chance. And the Mogus gang from behind means that we just die instantly. Like, she really hurt me a lot. Game and two, only combustion. Wow. Okay, I guess she does hurt us a lot more than I think she is. But we trade that for a mid one T1 one tower, so it's not all is totally lost right there. That kinda sucks because I did got shut down to the Wingo right there. Um not the best kind of person to get my shutdown to on the mid lane side, but it is what it is. Um I think the mortgage wasn't there, we still won that very clearly, but I have my cleanse now. That's super great. I'm a little bit off on Pain Reaper once I get that online. Once they fully stack up Soul Chalice, I'm gonna just fight even harder right here, ladies and gents. Appreciate the gold um, given to me right there. Oh, okay, it looks like the crunch is right here, so maybe we'll actually shield for a little bit, just in case of that gank by the sponge. Uh, he's definitely looking right there. We have half a ward, so we see the crunch coming in, we're more than um, happy to kind of back off. And I do have a way to last hit from a distance thanks to my grenade, so. Um, I'm just gonna take a little back seat for now until we know Crunch is clear of the area. But he's mid, so we can actually step up right here. That's got a fun on tick. Um, Faith has some healers, but it's gonna be a little bit annoying to deal with. Um, but for the most part, um, we can still chunk with through slowly but surely.
Oh, I missed my Q, which really kind of sucks. Because I saw him um, trying to hold the wave right there. Um, so I'm sure I want to punish that a little bit, but also making it obvious that we're trying to do feint too. Right now, now it's obvious that we're doing this, but I think we just need to whip this right now. Because definitely with the phone that we actually do a lot of um, consistent high damage to this objective. Come on, you guys mind this thing? Oh my god, was it really stuffed um, smite right there? A little preempting plan so I can block some damage just in case they're trying to throw some stuff at me. Oh, the pick is gonna get me right there, but it's still gonna be a kill onto the mortgage. That's really big. Two for three. I really don't mind that, especially since we got that faint tooth as well. As we got Pain Weaver, we're still a little bit off from getting Soul Shards fully online for that bonus physical power. And like I said, we are just scaling more and more on white skill, which is kind of nice because we are all kind of facing a very scaling team. And this is the kind of team we have to keep our distance. And th luckily, this is a build that we can really keep our distance a whole lot compared to AD other ADC on play styles. crunch on the left side so we're actually good um to push this out for now as a typhoon um there i just noticed and that means that i need to make sure i don't get too caught off guard for the fact that she has that um what you call um got that dash um to be way around let's pull this because if they try to walk into like a victor then that's um their death wish Uh, unfortunately, I cannot shake, shake that. Uh, maybe I can chase it a little bit more. Yeah, she definitely disrespect me a tiny bit too much right there. And I'm gonna get the double kill. That's huge. Um, I need to try to get to mid if I can. But at the same time, though, like this is a okay. I I really think that's fine for me to push that in, but. Yeah, no, like, I'm gonna push this in. We see where all three of them are at right now. I have to get this tower knocked down ACP. That's what I mean. I really don't think they were gonna come to me on right side. On right there. Now I gotta, like, back off, I would say. Um, but I got that tower knocked down, which is what I really want at the end of the day. Yeah, we see the counts right there. I can solo kind of juke her a little bit. We have the team following up right here. And I have the cleanse as well. Somehow living with one HP, but like I said, that um, shield comes really, really in handy. And um, when I'm having all this blood damage, kind of throwing my way. Five people on the side, by the way. What in the world? Ladies and gents, five people. My goodness gracious. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with the Marsha right here, but I don't have anything to really build towards it right now, so I thought you just have to sit on this. But I still think that it's kind of winnable, it's just like my team's mental was just not the strongest um, right now. Maybe I should go like a ten round. We just have a lot of healing coming on the side. So like, I have my cold build and normally going to Marsha can make my abilities enhance even further. But we're having so much healing at this point. Even if I'm relying on my team to be the entire like healing kind of people. I think it's getting some um, anti-heal on my side can also be beneficial. So... 
I want to see if we can kill the mid lane, and I'm gonna rotate with my way to it if he wants to follow up with that call. Like, I think we have to, like, try to see if we can either kill right side or mid, and I feel like going on mid is easier at the moment, in my opinion. Like, I feel like um, the mortgage is gonna drop down the river buff right here. I really want to just punish her, but I can't do that if my Rito is not with me. Like, I think we should be doing rotation mid and not seeing um, white right now. Because us seeing that white side means that the enemy team knows where we're going to be staying at, and they can try to punish us. But if we go mid where they do not expect, I think that's where we can pick up some kills. But a Milmo is kind of lost, um, so we're not going to be able to get that right there. Okay, we lost that faint too. Could this be angle to the prime? I think there's the angle to the prime because we're also healthy enough and I think we have enough damage to do this as well. I think there's, yeah, I think there's actually angle to do this objective right here. Let's just run it, honestly. Only the face can stop us and I mean a lone faint without a buddy up. Partner is really not gonna do much, unlike two. Make sure as ADC you stand on the back of the pit because this is where it's the hardest for the enemy to try to collapse onto you. I usually see too many ADCs make the mistake of staying outside the pit rather than inside the pit, unlike you. Okay, now we retreat because we definitely want to back for items. Uh, this is the part where we have to be careful not getting solo picked out. Um, but nice. But definitely spike up 2500 gold to spend. Uh, let's pick this up some tainted rounds. More attack speed not too bad since we're gonna go a little bit hybrid just to kind of shut down the kind of team comp they're going for right now. So last item like could be like maybe the Marsha since the um, crunch could be so semi tanky mid to, to late game. But maybe we can go for Mesmer because maybe we can try and deny a lot of like abilities going on top of us if we have that spell shield. But also at the same time though, it's it's a phase. You press E, we maybe lose it, right? So I mean, I'm I'm not gonna take it. Like maybe it'd be great if I can take it, but I wasn't paying attention. So don't wait for me. Just give um just have it go to um the frame out right there. Oh, uh, and that's what I mean. Like we just can't get solo pick like this when we're trying to um reset or get away for some of this like group plays right here. Like that was just really bad that the arc could just die right there. Like you should know better um knowing him personally. And now we're trying to put the blame on the team where it's just his fault for getting solo pick right there. When he's like three people in mid like, and you're by yourself, you just cannot make up excuses for why you just got solo pick off like that. But you just cannot. That's just a bad, bad pokey feed right there. Okay, I'm gonna be on my way mid. Um, right side is not in the best spot as it used to be. Um, but they give us some more time to get mid kind of shut in now. That's the attempt to try and get the hook right there. Tower is under attack. Gonna try beamline the countless. That's gonna connect right there. I need to try and focus the spell actually right here first. I'm gonna wait for my um, health regen to kick in before I look to go in. Cause like maybe I can go in for a flashy kill, but then maybe I'll die. So like I just want to take my time more. Let the HP um, regen kick in, and then we can look to re-engage. Cause we have time for now 30 seconds. Maybe we can make something happen still. So. 
Dang, I'm not gonna be able to get that hook on time. But that's no like bait pull for a little bit. But um, Count is now back into play, so we actually may have to just back off, honestly. Like maybe there's a push we just don't do anymore, just given the fact that we have five more coming up right here. Yeah, I, I think we just back off. This is a 4v5. We should not just take this at all. And I'll leave that to the August right there because I think up is pretty good. I'll, I'll merely back because I'm gonna get 10 of rounds right here. That's gonna be really big for like um, DPS purposes and then type light. And then yeah, let's go for Mesmer. Try to get as much as we can and then make our way um, to this time of fight right here. Yeah, on my way. We have to try to kill this punch um, since they're going really hard for the August right here. Yeah, I just really want to bust them down before we even have a chance um, to go on it. But I think the enemy team is actually still doing fine, especially if they have a face barrel. So I think we have to actually go check this. Like, I think we actually have to go check this because they could be trying to sneak it in. I really think they're trying to sneak this in because we just don't see anyone on the map right now. You see the counts now finally, but you never know um, what, what could be happening right there. But either way, Crunch is dead. This this is an opportunity to try to do this primal if we can get away with it. I'm gonna focus primal first because we just have to get this locked down so we can turn and fight. Yes, now we turn and fight. Oh dang, she went around this side. Nice, we got to find, find a kill on us, which is the big, big thing. And Crunch is sort of looking at me, but I don't think he can really do anything to stop us at this point. So nice. We definitely got the primal um, execution right there, which is what we really wanted more than anything. Um, we just can't really push right now for the time being. I'll do, I think I'll do one more wave because I'm just... 100 go off from my Mesmer right here, which I think is going to be super super important for me to unlock this down. We can't do it right away still, so it's fine for me to take this kind of little bit later reset. Just make sure I have the um, spell shield right here. Um, to really just make sure that I'm at my full throttle power right here. So about a minute on Primal only means still has it, so we don't have a super large advantage on this um, Prime pick. But we still have a good advantage because I just doing so much damage right now at this point. And we can definitely play around the DOT damage that this buff provides. Still missing the ultimate is super bad because we need that for that fight. So we actually just cannot like... Maybe we can play the corner is what we can do. Like play the corner. Try to see if we can get a pick on to like the Mojus. Like we have a Victor that can play that corner really well. So I want to try to play with him. Try to see if we can get a sneaky hook or stun. But honestly, look at the calendar. She's sort of by herself. Yep, we got the really nice burst damage to do that, and yep, that's the jungler kill. That should be a guaranteed prime now. We just do prime right now. But we see Fema going in him on the Mokus, we just cannot let him to die like this. Fema is still alive, so we can actually still do prime. We should definitely do it right here, so we can make our pushing power that much stronger right here, ladies and gents. I think what we need to do is push mid and left as much as we can before like the Mojus come in. The punch and counter gonna come in, but we have solid 20 seconds. So maybe at least take down like 
um, some of the side towers before we make a big push for inhibitor. I am solo by myself, so I won't make the same mistake that the Argus made and that I can solo pick off. So I'm gonna play really far back behind the wave so like the um the enemy team has no chance to find that opening onto me. Because I mean the waiter is the one that's really far pushed up right here. That is pretty risky how he's positioning right there. Um but so far just getting some voice down, trying to get vision is always good uh, for the most part. Enemy tower is under attack. Right, I'm going for the quench. I'm gonna try to see if you can maybe follow up right here. Except the Bane Mao is gonna get solar picked off when we just didn't need to take that at all. Like, we just can't get, keep getting solar picked like this when we should focus on grouping up together as a team. I think we now need to go um, migrate over to the left lane because the seals can that way push in. I think we need to just group up and try to help him out right here. Oh, that coin's stepping down when he knows better. So it's not just my jungle making mistakes, it's also the other jungle making mistakes. Very interesting stuff. But I'm not one to complain because this means that this push is just even better right here. Nice. We do mean Argus does so much brain damage. We actually took kill the kill onto that spell, even though she has to face back pocket right there. And also, yeah, it could be GG's if we can get another one more pick, like on the countless maybe. But at the same time, though, they have a lot of strong wave clear, and my team is always wanting to back off, which I can respect that because I think going for the primal can be the safer call. They know we're like trying to cheat, so we just do this immediately, just while we still can. Like, I think we should not just steal Dally right now. Um, Crunch is, has this, he's now alive, so we just need to make sure we kill this before um, Crunch have his way to sneak in to secure the um, last hit right here. Honestly, maybe it's looking like an angle with push and miss slash white. I uh, might as well try to get the white inhibitor down since we got both of them down right there. But my team is trying to look for something right there. I think they're fine. I'm going to make sure we help our team push down the white inhibitor while they're trying to um, apply pressure onto that mid lane. And still going in really hard in the 2v5. Like again, we do not be getting solo pick like this when we're trying to go for objectives, my friends. Can't be making these rookie mistakes time and time again. Yeah, I just cannot step up right now because I'm just completely um oomph right now on health. But we have the damage and the prime mode, so we can just play this a little bit slower and maybe we can find some kills still to this day. I don't really need this goal right here, but this is just me denying the enemy team more gold so they can try to catch back up to us. But I don't know how I feel about Mesmer. I kind of feel like my shield is just getting popped every single time, so I'm gonna actually adapt right here. Go for the mirror later so I have some army fam to life steal back up. But more importantly, it does make my abilities hurt more because it applies the HP damage, which can be really nice to focus down the crunch even harder right here since. Yeah, he's being stunned while we need to make sure we kind of do some great damage to that. The Marshall could be a no nice option, but I think the army fam is pretty important so we can sustain a little bit better in this mid to late game team fight. And I'm definitely not going to show face by myself when I don't have my team here, so we're just going to like um, wait for a little bit, wait for our witch to come in and look and come help us potentially maybe get the spare if she over pushes.
farm up for 20 seconds. We should try to look for a fight if we can because we need to make sure we can get a nice kill. Like for example on this clutch fight here. Oh, still going in still. We need to actually try to see if we can um, come up. That's a very nice uh, stun. And this, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We finally got a kill right when um, we need to. That's another kill. It's gonna be GG's if we don't mess up right here. Oh my god, the Mogus Marsh will kill me because she does more than half my HP bar at this point. I feel like we should have on the Mogus. That was just a little bit awkward right there more than anything. Please, see, you don't lose these, do you? Oh my god, he may actually lose this. He lost that. That's kind of insane. But we still have the weight pushing in. It, won't, it maybe won't mean like the end of the game right there. Um, because Mogish can still clear that out, I feel like, but at the same time, it's not too bad. I, I want to see, if, is there any way, let's do Absolution. Because I just, at, at this point, I think going for like, a magical armor is going to be really nice. I should have thought about this earlier, but I think what I need more than anything is some better survivability and try to get some of that magical armor is great. And if I do get CC, I do get damage mitigation and movement speed. So let's actually pick this up right here. Yeah, that could have been the GG's right there, but I think we just kind of split out of tension a little bit too much, and the Mokis was able to just kill me right there. That's sort of why I was trying to prioritize her first, just because her damage um, guaranteed onto me with the ultimate is just so deadly. And Liberator was unfortunately off cooldown, so I didn't have that um, cleanse shield to be able to do much right there. Maybe we can go in for the potential flip right here? They don't have the spell right away, so they don't necessarily have the best objective damage, especially since they have a Morgish. Yeah, they're on it. I think we can maybe still come in. Well, we got them off the objective, but Fame Out got in um, by himself and lost the 50 50. That we would like to see right here. And that's the Mogus mark that's gonna make me force to just get out of this fight right here. Yeah, all the inhibitors are back up now, so we unfortunately cannot like push any. We don't have that advantage anymore, which kind of blows because I think um, if we have the inhibitors still up, I think oh down, I think we could like. Um, make the enemy team kind of split apart a little bit, but they're gonna get the double ejectors, which is something you hate to see right here, right? They are indeed on fame, but unfortunately, I don't think there's anything we can really do to stop them. It's a 4v5, they have prime, they have a way to regen all the HP up, so I don't think there's anything we can really do right there. Oh, lucky. We need, maybe we need to defend mid. I was, yeah, I was like, yeah, we should go to mid on right there, but. Uh, my team is just sold this split apart still. It may actually have to be a, a um, way we give up right here because I don't think there's any way we can clear this out. Except he's gonna just go for the push right here. Two people going down right there. It's pretty rough, I'll say. We're making them slowly back off, but they have to find regen, so we just cannot confirm any kills right now onto them, which really blows. Because if they didn't have the prime, I think this can be a little bit easier fight to try to see if we can um, kill them right here. And unfortunately, it's gonna be the GG's right there. Looking like a really solid victory, but then like the last skirmish in the jungle where we split apart too much between the mortgage and spell, they cost us right there when I just got, I died right there and we didn't have any follow up after that. 
so I mean it's still a good game for the most part we did definitely pop up super hard onto the trim glass right here and so I really don't think um we definitely weren't slacking on our end it was more like some other areas were definitely struggling right there because yeah 46,000 damage is definitely some really great damage right there we see like the rain go kind of putting up his damage on that front but if he's against a steel um way to fame now he's just kind of farming damage for free whereas the tall team cup is squishy i only have the crunch as a comparison to farm the damage off right there but yeah this is sort of like a build that i really enjoy personally on trim blast just because i actually play this more long range kind of engagement saw it a couple of times but i use my ultimate immediately and usually the, the trim blast ultimate is a way to finish off people not engage and do damage but if you go for this full penetration build your ultimate damage just does so much so you can just engage from long range and go for those long range kind of picks which i think was actually quite crucial a couple of times but we use the ultimate to engage on like some of these targets put them down and we got the finishing blow on them by us or by um our team right there but yeah, I think this is a, just a good game and a good showcase, full build showcase of like the potential of what this Trim Blast can really bring to the table. So even though it is an L, I think it's still a W in my heart for this build showcase and place out on Trim Blast. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me down in the comments about the heroes, about the build show me showcase. Thank you as always for the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.